Once again, we're doing a QA. and a And yes, this video will also be randomly inter <coughs> interrupted by clips I took throughout the day. Question number one. Do you guys remember these things? How cute are they? Do you ever want to get married and what's your take on marriage? Ooh, there's a lot to unpack there. I've always believed that there's greater life commitments than getting married. For example, having kids, sharing finances. Granted, you're supposed to get married before you do those things, but I feel like the legal certification itself of getting married doesn't really mean much. If you're truly committed to somebody, you will be loyal and committed to them whether you're married or not. So to me, marriage seems more like a tradition instead of the actual intent to show commitment. I mean, with divorce rates being so high, I can't help but feel like more and more people are getting married because of the idea instead of what it was intended to do. That being said, I would love to get married. The idea of celebrating unconditional love between another person and I sounds beautiful. But the truth is, I am a little jaded right now. <laughs> and so I don't know if I could ever trust somebody enough to fully believe that they unconditionally love me. I mean, it's really cute, but I feel like it just makes it a little too busy in here. It is cute though. And even if I was certain of it, I'd still wait a few years just to make absolutely sure that they are the right one and get my finances in order because a wedding is a luxury, not a necessity. My finances are a necessity. I've looked at these from every possible angle I could have. No, no, no. Oh, even got an expert opinion on it. It looks good, but it does like close out the room. Yeah, it looks too crowded in like, here. Like suddenly I see you. Yes, and that's all you can <laughs> I can't stop staring at it, which is awesome. They're cute, yeah. but it's just too much. It's just too much. Damn it. They're so cute though. Epic failure. Question number two. Oscar, what's the hardest part about co-parenting? Oh, that's a good one. Um. In the beginning, the worst by far was seeing one of the little ones get sad over one of us leaving. That was absolutely excruciating and I still hate to think about it to this day. Luckily, they've gotten adjusted pretty well and so the hardest part now I would say is keeping my mouth shut when I hear the other parent doing something that absolutely drives me insane. I'm sure that goes both ways, but you definitely have to learn to pick your battles because getting mad at the other parent is only gonna cause them to resent you and they're probably not gonna change anyways. Dinner time! Tonight we're having steamed veggies with soup. Mmm. Isn't it just considered soup then? <laughs> I don't know. Question number three. Oscar, do you think you'll struggle with loneliness when your cousin moves out? I was just talking about this the other day. Look who's here. What's up, What's up dude? dude? How you doing? Good. Zach hasn't seen this place, so I'm excited to show him around. What the? Even the fox spreading. Thank you. I value my friend's opinion so much, and so I'm so excited that everyone has had nothing but nice things to say. I love it. Really nice. Kyla and I were having this conversation, and it made me realize that I think the only reason why I am comfortable not dating right now and not looking for somebody is because I have my cousin as like a security blanket. She helps me out, she's here, and it makes me feel not lonely. When I'm entirely by myself, I can't help but think that I'm going to look for someone to fill that gap in my life while the kids aren't here. Who knows? Maybe I'll just end up traveling more, hanging out with friends, kind of like how I did last year. But that really scares me to think about. Zach, what the? You're supposed to take the junk, not you here with me. <laughs> you suckered me into this. I saw ice cream and pie and chocolate. <laughs> I'm hoping I'll be keeping myself so busy with my goals for this year that I won't even realize I'm lonely. <laughs> I don't know if that's healthy or not, but I hope it works. Question number four. What is your main five-year goal? The thing I want most in these next five years is to feel like I am a successful, responsible adult. This is the first time in my life where I am entirely dependent on myself, and if I fail, I have no one else to blame, and no, no intimate support that only a mother and a wife or a fiance or a girlfriend can provide. And if I fall behind on my finances, I have nobody there to help me pick up the slack. All those thoughts scare the crap out of me. And so I really want to get to the point where I feel entirely independent and know that if anything goes wrong, I will be okay. Right now, I don't feel that way. 
Peace out, Zachy Poo. Thanks for coming over. Oh, I really appreciate you taking those treats. They've been talking to me all week. Oh, yeah. This one won't make it home. <laughs> yeah. I love that. See you, man. See you. Have a good one. You too. And last but not least, question number. It's like it. And I forgot my shorts at home. At this point, I'm not even surprised. As a matter of fact, I'm just happy I brought a shirt. <laughs> The final question was the most commonly asked question, and it goes, Oscar, would you ever get back with Kira if she begged for you back? <laughs> the thought of that actually makes me uncomfortable because not only would it be weird and kind of sad to reject her, but things would have had to go terribly wrong in her life for that to happen. We both already know this, but there would be absolutely zero trust in that kind of a relationship, and we're doing so good as co-parents, we should continue to do that for as long as we need to. So no. Kira and I not only will never be again, we can never be again. That, it's a recipe for disaster. That's pretty much it for this video though. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!